Veuillez vous asseoir. The presidents and the trial chambers uh, continue its hearings. And next, uh, I would like to give the floor to uh, Judge Jean-Marc uh, Lawange uh, to continue uh, the questioning uh, to the witness. Uh, please, uh, Judge Lawange, the floor is yours. Monsieur Judge Laverne, la parole est à vous. Voilà. En fait, la Chambre a pu noter qu'il y avait des questions de concordance entre le contenu des dépositions faites par le témoin au cours de l'instruction et de ce qui a été dit par ce même témoin au cours de l'audience. Donc, ce que nous allons faire, c'est que nous allons lire la déclaration faite par le témoin au cours de l'instruction. Après chaque paragraphe, des questions seront posées au témoin pour savoir si le cas échéant, il y a des discordances et éventuellement les raisons éventuellement de ces discordances. Voilà. Donc, si un greffier national so cambodgien pouvait commencer à donner lecture donc, du document D78.1, bien sûr, à partir du début des questions-réponses. Ce n'est pas la peine de lire dans son entête. Um, Colvati, please read uh, the statement. Monsieur le greffier, venez, veuillez donner lecture de la déposition. So uh, Question answer. Uh, and I and FL, please briefly describe your story prior to 1970. Uh, what school did you attend after 1970? Uh, what unit of the Khmer Rouge Army did you join? Uh, CV, I only studied up to class 12 when I was a child. In 1970, I joined the Armland Subdistrict Militia. The Subdistrict Chief Tom brought me in. After I had been in the military one month, they sent me to the Zone Army Station on National Highway 5 Battlefield, where I win the son-in-law of Tamok was the division chairman. Later on, I deserted and I went back home. After three days at home, Sai, who was from Hanoi, sent me to uh, Office M. Team. It was approximately 1974 when I went to work at M13. Question. What was Question. your job at M13? Please explain about M13 site. Where was it located? Who was the chairman of M13? CV. I was a guard at M13. Office M13 was located at Trapang Trap. This prison site had three pits. Each pit was two meters deep. It was a square four meters in each side. Each pit was about half a meter from the next. On both sides of the three pits, there were two buildings located to the left and to the right of the pits for holding light offense prisoners. The pits were for holding serious offense prisoners. Each pit held only five to six prisoners. The large building to the east held about ten people. The small building to the west held about six to seven people. A bamboo fence surrounded by the detention, detention site. Outside of the prison, there was a building for the guards to live in. There were two guards inside the prison. There were a total of about 15, 13 personnel working at M13, among them a cook. 
guards, interrogators, and three medics who were what often prisoners. Office M13 had Deutsch as chairman, Chen as deputy, and me as a member. All three of them were interrogators. There was another one, Pon, who was also an interrogator, but Deutsch killed him during approximately in 1974. The guards had the task of taking the light of the prisoners to work outside. The work was uh, hoeing the soil and growing vegetables. The series of prisoners were not sent to Par work contre, outside. Les de peine had the task of taking three prisoners to work every day, every single day. The cook was Mom, Mom Tachan's wife, chef, uh, uh, and I and FL. With what offenses Question, pour were the prisoners charged? What types of prisoners were there? Est-ce que, est que sur ce qui a été lu jusqu'à présent, le témoin peut confirmer ce qui vient d'être lu ou est-ce qu'il so y a des choses qui ne correspondent pas à ses souvenirs aujourd'hui Yes, all those responses are true. Oui, it is clear and accurate. Uh, il s'agit d'une déposition uh, reflétant la vérité. Dans cette déposition, il est dit à un moment que il y avait un autre interrogateur qui s'appelait Bonne et qui a été tué par Douk en 1974. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous avez personnellement vu ou est-ce que c'est vous êtes sûr de l'identité de cette personne ou est-ce que vous avez euh, des précisions à apporter Yes, le témoin. Uh, Pon oui. uh, was originally worked with uh, Tadouj. He Pon was an interrogator, uh, but Duke he disappeared un interrogateur, mais il a uh, disparu. for a while. I didn't Pendant see temps, him there je pas at M13. I don't know where uh, he went. Je pas où il est passé. So when someone disappeared from there, uh, he or she disappeared forever, eh bien, including the guards. Pon uh, was also the interrogator. Il en valait même pour les gardes. But I don't know whether he's uh, dead or alive. But if he's still si il alive, he must be in prison. Vivant, now. mais en tout cas, s'il est vivant, il doit être en, en prison maintenant. Mais en tout cas, je ne l'ai jamais revu. Est-ce que vous avez vu Doug tirer et exécuter Did you see Doug shoot and execute Pon? Uh, no, I didn't see it with my eyes, but non, je pas uh, vu de I observed that um, Pon vu, was uh, disappeared Pon from the place. Disparu de M13. Et donc le reste, c'est une déduction que vous avez faite. C'est quelque chose que vous avez so the rest euh, is something you deduced. deviné. C'est pas quelque chose que vous avez surmised. vu directement. This is not something you actually experienced personally. Yes, uh, I didn't oui. see that. C'est pas quelque it chose que j'ai vu de mes propres yeux. My, il s'agit uh, anticipation, but uh, Pon disappeared from uh, suppose, from uh, M13. Uh, mais Pon a disparu de M13. Voilà, donc je pense qu'on va pouvoir reprendre la lecture, mais on pourra s'arrêter. Après chaque paragraphe, peut-être. But perhaps it would be well to stop after each paragraph. Ta 
ordinaire en plus, je n'ai jamais vu qu'on emprisonnait les soldats de l'homme noble. Question, pourriez-vous nous décrire la situation des prisonniers dans ce centre Réponse, les prisonniers condamnés de peine longue ont été menés dans les fosses avec les pieds menottés. Néanmoins, les prisonniers condamnés de peine légère n'étaient pas menottés. Question, est-ce que vous étiez au courant des prisonniers qui étaient morts à cause de l'inondation des fosses I knew Réponse I was living there at the time. Bien sûr, on se It was during a rainy season when the flat waters rose strongly and immediately during the heavy rain la nuit, in y avait the middle of the night. Pluie causing all of the prisoners in the pits to die. As for the guards and workers at M13, they all fled up in, into the nearby trees. The flat waters lasted for one night and two days before going back down. Question? Did Deutsch order the res a rescue of the prisoner? CV? There was no order at the time. The water had already gone down when Deutsch ordered us to go look at the prisoner who had died due to the flood. Question. As for the live prisoner, did they escape during the flood? CV. The live sentenced prisoner also fled up into the tree. They were not able to escape. Question. Please explain about the interrogation of the prisoner. Where did they take the prisoner for interrogation? Who had the right to interrogate prisoner? Did Deutsch ever personally interrogate the prisoner? CV. The interrogation was done right there inside the prison fence. Deutsch gave the orders for the guard to bring the prisoner to the interrogators. Even though Tachan and Tamir interrogated, they could only interrogate after uh, Deutsch contre, had Pertin authorized it. Mers, During the interrogation, torture, même si if the prisoner did not answer, Deutsch would torture the prisoner himself. Chan and Mir did not have the right to torture prisoners, even if the prisoners did not answer. When he interrogated the prisoner, Deutsch would both interrogate and record the response in the books. After the interrogation, he would examine those notebooks. As for Tajan and Tamir, after the interrogation, if the prisoner had not answered, they would report to Deutsch. Then Deutsch would both personally interrogate and torture them. I never saw any messenger came to get the prisoner confession books from Deutsch avait pris des notes. Alors, nous avons plusieurs paragraphes qui ont été lus. Est-ce que, tout d'abord, vous confirmez ce que vous avez dit par rapport à l'inondation qui est survenue, cet épisode, et aux morts que vous avez décrits Yes, at that time there was a flood. Oui. Yes, there was a flood. Uh, there was uh, people died. Uh, no one rescued uh, the victim because the flood rise very quickly. Parce que les eaux sont montées très vite. Est-ce que vous confirmez aussi que Doug n'a pas ordonné que les personnes détenues dans les fosses soient délivrées Le témoin 
order any things because oui, everyone was stunned sens, and uh, fled because uh, it was immediately rise and uh, uh, he did not uh, order any rescue and the flood was uh, de porter there secours. at the time. Et donc l'inondation a bien eu lieu à ce moment-là. Dans le paragraphe suivant, vous avez donné des indications sur la façon dont les interrogatoires étaient menés. Vous avez dit que Douk, que, que toute... Euh, euh, que toute torture ne pouvait être exercée sans que la torture ne pouvait être exercée sans l'ordre de Duke. Est-ce que vous confirmez cela Yes, before interrogating, oui. uh, the interrogator will wait Avant for the order from Deutsch, and then he, he or she, uh, they can do the interrogation. No one procéder. would dare to interrogate Mais without his orders. Personne ne pouvait procéder à un interrogatoire sans l'ordre de Duke. Vous avez dit également plus loin que Duke faisait le suivi, il les interrogeait lui-même en exerçant un acte de torture. Est-ce que cela veut dire dans votre esprit que Duke a systématiquement participé à tous les interrogatoires et qu'il a systématiquement exercé des actes de torture Yes, in fact, he interrogated uh, by himself, uh, as I told your honor earlier, uh, until uh, the extent that he uh, beat uh, the victim and stripped uh, the shirt and the trouser off from the victim. Le chemise, le pantalon. Bien. Je crois qu'on peut poursuivre la lecture du paragraphe suivant. Could the next paragraph be read out, please? Uh, please uh, stop after you finish reading one paragraph uh, so that we can verify uh, by chaque paragraphe. Intervient Monsieur le juge Lavergne. Uh, question. During prisoner interrogation, question. Uh, what torture methods did Deutsch use? CV. Deutsch alone had the right exercée. to torture a prisoner. He did the torture personally by himself, for instance, exemple, by taking a cloth, dipping it in kerosene, and wrapping it around a stick and burning to the bodies of the prisoner who had their arms tied behind them and were hanging from a tree branch and swinging up and down. Sometimes Deutsch beat the prisoner with the bamboo whips, causing wounds and bleeding all over the bodies. Uh, Deutsch took other prisoners, uh, uh, submerged Certains them in the water in the stream adjacent in the prison site, causing the prisoner to go unconscious and uh, the guards carried them and put them back in the prison. For female prisoners, Deutsch caused a flame to burn their breast, causing burns. Deutsch had the guards strip all the clothing off. Uh, the prisoners who were being tortured, leaving them naked before they were brought to be tortured. As for the prisoner who did not respond to questioning, um, Deutsch took a gun and shot them. I, pers I personally saw the shooting three prisoners.
je pense qu'il manque une, euh, les deux dernières phrases que je n'ai pas entendues de ce paragraphe. Je vais les lire. Euh, le premier était pendu à un arbre et il a été tiré trois balles par Le deuxième a été fusillé avec le AK et le troisième a été tué à coup de revolver. Parfois, Duke était content comme un fou lorsqu'il a torturé les prisonniers. Laughing and happy, like he had gone crazy in doing the torturing. Alors, est-ce que est, ces phrases-là existent bien dans la version Khmer? Do these sentences appear in the Khmer oui. version of the statement? Est-ce que le témoin so? peut nous dire s'il confirme ce qui vient d'être lu ou s'il a des observations this à formuler? That has been read out, or whether he has any comments to add in regard to the version. Uh, yes, uh, it, it's all in there. I saw only oui. that. I knew only that. Uh, shooting with ce que a pistol, je savais, uh, tiré I, uh, avec un uh, he shot. Uh, I saw uh, by, uh, with my eyes. Uh, il a tiré so uh, let me add uh, uh, one uh, more. Uh, he used uh, a revolver, a uh, uh, gun, a uh, shotgun. Un revolver, he, un pistolet. He Uh, fire three three rounds and the the victim died at the, at, uh, the scene. I saw that uh, with my eyes and later I uh, left uh, the place. I did not see anything else. Lorsque je suis parti, je n'ai uh, rien vu d'autre. Donc aujourd'hui, vous nous dites que vous n'avez assisté qu'à une seule exécution. Le témoin, oui, c'est exact. He continued to do that. Il a continué à faire cela. Dans la déclaration qui vient d'être lue, il est fait état de trois exécutions. Est-ce que les deux autres exécutions, ce sont des choses dont vous avez entendu parler ou est-ce que vous ne vous en souvenez plus du tout I uh, do not understand uh, your question, Your Honor. Dans George la Lavelle, déclaration faite devant les enquêteurs, telle qu'elle a été lue tout à l'heure, le document écrit, il est fait état de trois ago. exécutions. La première exécution, il est dit que Duke a tiré trois balles. Mais vous faites également état de deux autres exécutions. Vous dites, enfin, il est dit, le deuxième a été fusillé avec le AK et le troisième a été tué à coup de revolver. La question que je vous pose, c'est est-ce que ces exécutions, vous vous en souvenez aujourd'hui ou est-ce que vous vous en souvenez plus Ou est-ce que ce sont des choses dont on vous a parlé mais que vous n'avez pas vu personnellement or events that you were told about but which you did not witness personally. Yes, I remember. Le témoin, oui. I did remember. Je m'en rappelle. Because I uh, forget uh, before uh, the third execution. Execution. Uh, he used the revolver voilà, uh, to shoot uh, uh, the victim. He shot uh, three sur la times. Et il a tiré à trois reprises. Mm. 
Donc maintenant, vous nous dites George que Lavelle. vous avez vu so Duke exécuter trois personnes à l'aide de revolvers ou d'un AK. C'était trois épisodes différents ou c'était le même jour Yes, it uh, happened in different days. Uh, sometimes, uh, once a month, uh, it, it, it did not happen in the same day. So, uh, one day, uh, every ten days, like that. Chaque, tous les dix jours ou à dix jours d'intervalle ou quelque chose comme cela. Bien, je pense qu'on va pouvoir poursuivre la lecture. I think the reading can continue now. Question. Did you ever see them use uh, centipedes to sting prisoners during torture? CV, I never saw that. Question. Were all the prisoners tortured? CV, for the most part, the prisoners were all tortured. There were a few prisoners, in particular light offense prisoners, who were not tortured. Question, were any of the prisoners there ever released? CV. Some prisoners, light offense prisoners, were released after they had been interrogated. Question, were there prisoners who were taken away and killed after they had been interrogated? CV, I did not know about taking them to be killed, but some prisoners disappeared during the night. I did not know where they killed, but for some prisoners who did not answer during the interrogation, they ordered the deprivation of food and water, and later they died in... Uh, inside the prison. I saw this even two people die inside the prison. Qui étaient morts à cause de ces tortures. Alors, est-ce que là encore, vous pouvez nous dire si vous confirmez ce qui vient d'être lu again, ou non? Here if you confirm what has just been read or not, says Judge Lavergne. Yol pro. Yes. I agree. Le témoin, oui, euh, je suis d'accord. Donc, Judge vous Lavin. avez personnellement so vu des détenus morts de faim. Who had died, uh, et who you personally saw prisoners ce, who had died à la suite d'un ordre donné par Duc de ne pas leur donner de nourriture. Ce que vous nous dites. Is this what you're saying? I did not see uh, that kind of uh, deprivation, uh, but I saw only uh, he killed people. Question. Did you ever see the prisoners des prisonniers de nourriture. Vous n'avez pas personnellement entendu. Mais est-ce que c'est quelque chose qu'on vous a dit As I told you, I did not see uh, dit, that. I did not je hear pas vu et je ne pas uh, about the deprivation of uh, food. Uh, I, as I told you earlier, I saw him uh, killing entendu, people, vu, uh, some les gens. of uh, the detainees. Les détenus. Je pense qu'on peut Lavergne. poursuivre la lecture so, so du document. I, I think that we can uh, move on uh, with the reading of the document.
Question. You said that Dutch killed Pon. Question. You said that Dutch killed Pon. Pourquoi l'a-t-il tué et comment l'a-t-il tué? Réponse. J'ai vu Dutch killed Pon by shooting him with an AK because Pon had let a prisoner escape while being taken for interrogation. Donc, qu'est-ce que vous nous dites à ce stade? Est-ce que vous nous dites que ça correspond à la réalité ou est-ce que vous nous dites que c'est quelque chose que vous avez déduit ou supposé Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous avez vu personnellement ou pas As I told you on a point, I did not see uh, the, the shooting, but uh, one disappeared from the place. He used to be an, an interrogator, but later disappeared, and I thought that uh, the, the guard, if any guard disappeared, uh, they had a problem in the case of Pon. Ma preuve de micro, semble-t-il, le témoin vient de dire qu'il ne l'a pas vu et qu'un jour, Pon avait disparu du camp et que si un garde disparaissait, le témoin pensait que c'est parce qu'il a vu un problème. Et c'est ce qui s'est passé avec Pon. Il a donc disparu, mais le témoin n'a pas vu euh, Douk être abattu. Il n'a pas vu Pon être abattu. Bien, je pense qu'on peut poursuivre la lecture. Well, uh, I think now that we can continue reading the document. Question. As for the prisoner's release, who ordered the release? CV. For the prisoner who was released, only Dutch had the right to give those orders. Question. Please explain about the food for the prisoners at M13. How was it? CV. There were two meals per day for prisoners at M13 in the morning and in the afternoon. At each meal, there was only thin gruel which they scooped into a sugar plum juice collecting tube which were used in place of dishes. Clam seals tied with the bamboo were used in place of spoons. Question. Up until what year did you work at M13? In late 1974, I released three prisoners whom I knew lived in Samrang village. Later, I was punished by being chained to a tree. After being chained there for three days, I escaped. When I arrived at my home village, village chairman helped. Et là, le chef de village m'a garanti que je pourrais rester libre et donc donc après m'a laissé en liberté. Voilà. Est-ce que vous confirmez ce qui vient d'être lu So, do you confirm what has just been read? Yes, I confirm. It is correct. Oui, je confirme que c'est exact. Bien. Je pense qu'on peut lire la fin du document. Ok, donc maintenant nous pouvons lire jusqu'à la fin du document. Question, please explain about the attitude of Deutsch at that time. What type of person was he? CV, Deutsch was a very mean and vexed person. If Deutsch wanted someone dead, he had to die. The work at M13 was all done under the authority of Deutsch. Those under the command of Deutsch feared Deutsch as if he were a tiger and did not dare glance at his face. If Deutsch spoke jokingly, you had to be vigilant. If he spoke with a straight face, it was okay. Question, do you have anything to add? Answer, I don't have anything to add. Voilà, est-ce que vous confirmez ce qui vient d'être lu? Judge so do you confirm what has just been read? 
Yes, I agree. Oui, je suis d'accord avec ce qui vient d'être lu. Bien, alors, est-ce que Duke a des commentaires à faire well, par rapport à ce qui vient d'être dit Et encore une fois, non seulement par rapport à ce qu'il estime euh, de pouvoir relever alors, en ce qui concerne les déclarations du témoin, mais aussi par rapport aux contradictions entre les déclarations du témoin et ses propres déclarations. Not only in relation to the statement I would like to uh, confirm a little bit. Oui. Uh, your honors uh, would Monsieur like juge, me to describe about the discrepancies or the con les contradictions, contradictions les, les écarts entre les déclarations. Uh, the contradictions, what to what uh, contents of the Et les contradictions testimony. par rapport à quoi dans le, la déposition Est-ce que les réponses qui ont été portées par le témoin vous satisfont ou est-ce que vous avez d'autres interrogations Le principal problème que je voudrais soulever Chan Wen was not a staff of M13, membre du personnel de M13. And the evidence that I show, I maintain that he told a lie that I shot a comrade Pon. Quand il dit que j'ai abattu le camarade Pon. Comrade Pon was my close staff. Pon était un collaborateur avec qui j'avais des rapports étroits. Uh, this is uh, my evidence uh, to uh, to prove that he is not Et he was not the staff of M13 prouve que le témoin n'était pas membre du personnel de M13 and uh, he lie in other cases Il including the shooting d'autres cas notamment pour ce qui concerne said that he I uh, shot le fait um, three uh, prisoners by trois my own hands. De ma propre main. Uh, this is not correct. Ce n'est pas vrai. As for uh, the children's, uh, pour ce qui est des enfants, to the, uh, the chambers, I would like. To say that there was no children from Omlang detained at M13. Je dis pour ma part qu'il n'y avait pas d'enfants venant de Omlang qui auraient été incarcérés à M13. I would like to confirm to your honours that the two detainees that I released, les deux personnes que j'ai libérées, it's called the Bangkok Police Station. 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 It's called the Uh, the wives of uh, commune chief Pung also arrested, Pung including three of uh, the children. Avec, uh, trois de ses enfants. Pung also arrested. Pung I received an order. Et j'ai reçu l'instruction. I received an order from the upper echelon to interrogate uh, Pung and uh, the oldest uh, son. Et son fils aîné. As for another two, uh, the twins, pour ce qui est des jumeaux, they were about 15 years old at that time. Ils avaient environ 15 ans à l'époque. And uh, their mothers, it's the spouse of uh, Commune Chief Pung, uh, were not interrogated. Peng, and later, the Appellation Order me, and later, the Appellation Order me, and later, the Appellation Order me to to send to the twins and the mother to Pursat, ainsi que la mère à Pursat. And therefore, in conclusion, um, there were no et donc one detained uh, any longer. Il n'y avait plus personne de détenu à ce moment-là. There were no children. Il n'y a pas eu d'enfants. There were no children. Pas eu d'enfants. Détenu à M13. 
the children from uh, the children to my word here is the children from Om Lang, as stated by uh, Wun, Tom Lang, the witness here. Comme, uh, le prétend, uh, Chan Wen. As for I try to f uh, to raise uh, three children from the uh, mother, but uh, I could not do that. But they were not from Om Lang. Cela finalement n'a pas été possible, mais ce n'était pas des enfants qui venaient d'Om Lang. As for uh, the flood, I would like to uh, tell you the truth as the following. Il faut aussi que je vous dise ce qui s'est véritablement passé. Uh, a flood from the mountainous area. I would, I had um, explained to the chamber earlier. à la chambre euh, le problème qu'on avait avec les inondations. At that day, there was a et slightly rain at the place about 9 a.m. in the morning. Il a beaucoup plu vers 9 heures du matin. It was uh, not a heavy rain Mais at that day. Pas une pluie très forte pour commencer. But uh, there was a flood. Uh, it's about uh, one meter height in one hour. It's en very quick. Une heure, un mètre d'eau, et donc une inondation très brutale. I saw that. Then I stand. I stood next to the pits, and I told them, uh, "Come out, come out." Et j'ai dit aux prisonniers de sortir, including myself and other. Uh, would uh, catch up uh, the beam and the water about uh, my chest. Everybody uh, were in the same uh, situation. À la poitrine. Tout le monde était dans la même situation. In uh, the evening, about 3 p.m., then the water level uh, went down. L'eau a commencé à descendre. At that time, I rescued uh, the prisoner and uh, the guards to uh, Joe's house. It's the village chief of Tropeang Trap village. Avec le chef du village de Tropeang Trap. And therefore, the, there was no prisoner die in the flood there, there, as I told uh, your honors uh, earlier. Comme je no one déjà died dit in the flood. Personne n'est mort lors de l'inondation. No one climbed up into the tree. Personne n'est monté dans les arbres. And there was a small hill. It's uh, uh, next to George's house. Près de George la was the chief George. of the George village. était le chef du village. And at that time, we crossed. We could not cross On to the house of uh, Brother George because uh, there was a pond there. there. Parce qu'il y avait un, un étang. Four, uh, the person did not see anything and come to testify at the court. Mais le témoin n'a rien vu de tout ça. Say it is correct. Et aujourd'hui, ce qu'il dit devant la chambre n'est pas correct. As for I ask for uh, to ask for the guard from the uh, side. Uh, who is 20 years of age to come to, to be guard. I went to the village to the recruté, commune and who were 15 or 17 years old to be my guards. Uh, recruter des gardes qui avaient 15, 17 ans. Uh, in conclusion, I conclure, uh, deny only uh, the uh, false testimony. Je nie uh, ce que le témoin dit sur certains points. I deny only the uh, only the false testimony made by Chan Wen, que, uh, les the witness Chan Wen, sur lesquels uh, Chan Wen ne dit pas la vérité. As for the crimes committed by M13 office, M13, those crimes uh, I committed against my nation, my people. Ce sont des crimes que j'ai commis contre mon peuple, ma nation. Those crimes. J'en assume la responsabilité. I uh, would not escape that kind of responsibility. Je ne cherche pas à um, échapper à cette responsabilité. I, tr I try uh, to list down when I think about that. I feel, quand je I songe feel painful aux gens in my uh, heart. Je ressens une grande douleur dans mon cœur. Uh, let me uh, stop here voilà, je now. Je vais m'arrêter là-dessus.
Une seule question. Est-ce que Bonn a pu s'absenter de M13 Est-ce qu'il a pu aller à M13B Est-ce qu'il a pu aller ailleurs ou est-ce qu'il est toujours resté à M13 Your Honours, uh, Comrade Pon uh, was a person from the same province as bon, me, from uh, Koti No. 3 of Unalom Pagoda with me. Et, I uh, trained était à la pagode Wat Unalom, comme moi. C'est moi qui l'ai formé. I allow him to uh, stay, always stays at the place, Et to be interrogated at the place autorisé à rester pour euh, être interrogateur. Il n'y a pas d'autres questions. Uh, the prosecutors, uh, do you have any question to ask Est-ce que les coprocureurs ont des questions qu'ils souhaiteraient poser If aux témoins have, uh, please do so. Je vous en prie. Or, Thank you, the President. Le coprocureur. Bern, Merci, Monsieur le Président. To your Monsieur le témoin, d'après votre déclaration, vous dites office. que vous étiez membre du personnel de M13. Quels autres membres du personnel de M13 vous souvenez-vous Le témoin. I knew the guards. Je connaissais les gardes. I, I knew some of them the co-prosecutor. Certain gardes, Do you know those who survived? Yes, says the witness. What is their name? Ask the prosecutor. Réponse, oui. Question, One is quels Korn. sont leurs noms? Réponse, un s'appelle Tuan. Jang Korn, is it? Jang Korn. Yes, Korn. says Demande the witness. Réponse, oui. And another person is Loin. Réponse, He's un autre est Loin. Kok. Il est à Kampong Kok. And another person. Et encore un autre. Is named Chun at Tnal Bong Bai. Qui se trouve à Tnal Bong Bang. And another person is Ran. Encore un autre dénommé Rang. That's all I know. I did not know any other guards. Voilà les, pour the les gardes que je connais. When you were Question. the staff there, est-ce que vous étiez à M13? Do you know the detainees there? Est-ce que vous connaissiez I did not know all les détenus? Réponse, je ne connaissais pas tous. J'en connaissais seulement certains. Those who lived far away, I did not know. Ceux qui venaient de what plus loin, those, je ne les connaissais what pas. What are the names of those you knew? Question. Quels sont les noms de ceux que vous connaissiez? Ask the Soy. Réponse. Soy. And Lee. And Lee. And Ngong Kheng. Ngong Kheng. There were a number of them, but I cannot recall the names. Do you know Hom In? Ask the prosecutor. Yes, says the witness. Réponse, oui. He is my friend. C'est un ami. Is he alive? Ask the prosecutor. Vivant. He passed away now. Réponse, non, il est mort. Witness. Can you state again Question. the leadership level of M13 besides do you, do you know any other people? Qui était chef à M13 en dehors de M13. The witness. Réponse. There were Pon and me Il y avait Pon and et Jan. Et Jan. Do you know Paul? Asked the prosecutor. Yes, Question. I know Paul, says the witness. Paul. I recognize Réponse. his face. Oui, je le connais, je Paul sais and Pon, do ressemble. you clearly recognize Question. which Pon one is Paul? Which one is Pon? Vous pouvez faire la distinction entre Pon et Paul? One is Paul. Yeah, Paul, yes, one is oui. Pon. Oui. They disappeared. Il y a Paul et Pon, ils ont disparu. He, he also interrogated the detainees. Ils I did not see détenus. Paul and Pon. I did not know where they went or whether they survived until the day. So amongst the two, Paul Question. and Pon, both of them Paul disappeared. Is that correct? Les deux yes, says the witness. And you do not know oui. the Question. reasons of their disappearance. Leur I do not know, says réponse. the witness. Non, they pas. just uh, simply disappeared from the office. What is the role of Question. Paul at M13 office as the prosecutor? He was an interrogator, says the witness. Thank you, says the prosecutor. Question. Merci. The prosecutor, do you know if or did you see Chan and Miss stop the No, I did not say the witness. Réponse, non, je n'ai pas vu cela. Question. 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 Question.
the president. Please, the co-prosecutor. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Can I ask whether you received any training before you started work at M13? Si, avant de travailler à M13, vous avez reçu une quelconque formation. The witness. I did not really have any position uh, in that office. I was just a guard. Non, moi j'étais juste. Uh, for example, taking the prisoners, uh, the, the detainees to be killed it was not my duty. Exemple, I was simply a guard. Moi, je n'avais pas pour tâche d'emmener les prisonniers à l'exécution. Before Question. you were given the order to guard prisoners, avant qu'on vous donne l'ordre de garder des prisonniers, were you given any instructions at all? Est-ce que vous avez reçu des instructions, une sorte ou d'une autre? Doik Par exemple, est-ce que Doik else ou quelqu'un d'autre vous a parlé et vous a expliqué ce que escape. vous deviez faire si un prisonnier tentait de s'échapper Réponse. The prisoners, before they were allowed to let out the work outside, there must be an order and Avant permission from Deutsch. For example, a guard can take three or four prisoners to work outside with a permission from him. Le guard peut mettre mais il fallait pour cela l'autorisation de Doc. And the second part of my question was: Did Doc or anyone else at the prison tell you how to react? Vous avez dit ce qu'il fallait faire if the prisoners attempted to escape. si un prisonnier tentait de s'échapper. Réponse. Si un prisonnier s'échappait, il de tirer. If the prisoner under my responsibility is si escaped, then we would order to shoot. Nous avions ordre de tirer. Because if the prisoner successfully escaped, si then the guard would be imprisoned à alors le garde était, euh, by himself. Incarcéré à son tour. So if he ordered to shoot, then we would shoot. Et si nous avions l'ordre de tirer, bien nous tirions. And for those prisoners who allow, I allow them to escape because I told them that they cut the chains by themselves and escaped. J'ai dit qu'ils avaient coupé leurs chaînes eux-mêmes et c'est ainsi enfui. You've told us that question. Prisoners were interrogated. Vous avez dit que les prisonniers étaient interrogés. Were all of the prisoners interrogated? Do you know? Or some of them? Ou seulement certains prisonniers? The witness. Réponse. The prisoners who were arrested and brought to his place, all of them would be interrogated. Tous interrogés. I don't know if uh, it's a light offense prisoners or serious offense prisoners, si but all of them would be euh, interrogated. Amenés pour des infractions légères ou sévères, mais ils étaient tous euh, normalement interrogés. You've told us Question. that Doik conducted interrogations. interrogations. Can you tell us on how many Separate occasions. Vous pouvez nous dire à you combien de reprises vous avez personnellement vu Duc mener un interrogatoire. The witness. Réponse. I saw Duc on three or four occasions, as I stated earlier. Comme je déjà dit, when he beat the tiny. J'ai vu Duc deux ou trois. And interrogated the prisoner, the, the prisoners, and on a, another occasion that he shot the prisoner. Frappé. Et une fois, je l'ai vu abattre un prisonnier. Question. I want to ask you about two separate occasions. Je voudrais m'attarder sur deux incidents. The first one, when you described Doik. Burning the breasts of the female prisoner. Le premier concerne cet épisode 
ou Duke aurait infligé des brûlures à la poitrine d'une femme détenue. Est-ce qu'à votre connaissance, Duke savait que vous assistiez à cette scène The witness. Réponse. Yes, I watched him. Oui, je l'ai vu. I saw him tie the female je l'ai vu ligoter took off her cette shirt. femme. Je l'ai vu euh, lui and I saw him retirer sa blouse et je l'ai vu the chest of infliger that lady. des brûlures I was afraid of à la him, poitrine. But I did See it. It was at the peur, back of the kitchen to the vu. east of the stream near the uh, prison gate. De la prison, près de la porte de la prison du côté est, près de la clôture. So he tied the female prisoner Il and he uh, torched her. I saw him torch, but I did not see clearly brûlé. with what uh, tool or with Mais a cloth or with a gasoline. Bien avec quel instrument? Et je crois qu'il y avait de l'essence et un Chiffon. Were you watching in secret? Question. What I mean is, vous étiez did, do you know whether Doik could see that you were watching him torture this victim? Est-ce que Doik pouvait vous voir victim? en train d'assister à la scène? The witness. Réponse. Doik saw me. Yes, Duke because vu, I was oui. nearby. Parce que j'étais tout près. I was at the other end of his uh, table. He did see table. me. Donc, il vu. Question. Est-ce que Duke a vu quelque chose pendant cette séance de torture? The witness. Réponse. He did. Not say anything to me. Il He only spoke to the prisoner. À moi, il a seulement parlé à la prisonnière. And what did he say to the prisoner? Question. Et que lui a-t-il dit? The witness. Réponse. He was interrogating the prisoner. Il a interrogé la prisonnière. But he did not say anything to me. I il only stood and watched it from uh, uh, distance. Là et je so he was interrogating and uh, speaking to the Donc prisoner. Il a interrogé la prisonnière et lui parlait. How long were you Question. watching this incident for? Do you remember? Was it a matter of one or two minutes or longer? Est-ce que cela a duré une ou deux minutes ou plus longtemps? The witness. Réponse. It was quite a long time. Ça a duré longtemps. It's probably more than 15 minutes. Je crois plus que 15 minutes. And what eventually Question. happened? To this prisoner, uh, did she live? Et did she die? What sort of condition was she left in when you stopped dans watching the scene? Est-ce qu'elle est morte? Dans quel état se trouvait-elle lorsque, à la fin de la scène à laquelle vous avez assisté? The witness. Réponse. After that, he untied her and uh, put her back il into the prison. Et il l'a remise dans la prison. Thank you. The second incident Merci, I'd like to talk to Il y a un you about. Deuxième incident, euh, dont je voudrais parler. You told us vous that you saw Doik shooting your uncle Duke to death. Abattre votre oncle. And I appreciate this must be very upsetting que cela for you to talk about. Euh, très difficile pour vous aujourd'hui. Can I ask you first? Alors je voudrais commencer par vous demander. Did Doik Know that si you were watching Duke savait that particular que torture vous incident? étiez en train d'assister à cet incident, were you watching in secret? ou est-ce que vous étiez dissimulé Le witness. Le témoin. I could not, uh, clear, hear clearly. Je n'ai pas réussi à bien entendre votre question. I'm sorry, I'll repeat it more slowly. Excusez-moi, je vais répéter The incident. Lentement. That you described Répond le of Doik shooting your uncle. Vous avez décrit, à savoir, a abattu votre oncle. Were you watching 
Est-ce que vous étiez dissimulé lorsque vous avez été témoin de cette scène, lorsque vous avez assisté à cette scène Est-ce que Duc savait que vous étiez en train d'assister à cette scène Le witness. When he shot my uncle, I was nearby. But he did not know that I was nearby. I was from the other side. When he was at this side, I was at the east side. And then I heard the gunshot. L'est et ensuite j'ai entendu des. Then I heard another shot and I saw my uncle already falling into the ground. Et j'ai vu mon oncle tomber à terre. So then I my tears dropped when I saw my uncle was shot to death. Mes larmes ont commencé à couler quand j'ai vu mon oncle tomber. Il a abattu mon oncle. Et sa fille était encore une nonne. À ce moment présent, vous pouvez demander à la fille de mon oncle. Vous pouvez également poser cette même question à la femme de mon oncle. Et il a dit qu'il n'y avait pas de nom de Soy. Soy Amlien, c'est mon oncle. Soy de Amlien, c'était le nom de mon oncle. Et sa femme est devenue nonne, s'est faite nonne à la pagode suite à cet événement. You described that there was one day that you saw pits and bodies buried in the pits. Can you tell us, please, Can you tell us, please, how many bodies you saw in the pits? Idée du nombre de cadavres que vous avez vus dans cette fosse. Le witness, as I stated earlier, le témoin, he he said that we were not allowed to chase the the wild boar, but actually I took the prisoners to chase the boar, and when we were near the stream. That's when I saw. And then he called me to come back. 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 Your answer, perhaps, something got missed in the translation. Do you mean that you don't remember how many bodies you saw, or you saw but you now can't remember? Vu, mais que vous ne pouvez pas vous rappeler maintenant de ce que vous avez vu. I cannot hear. Je n'arrive pas à entendre la traduction. The president, can the co-prosecutor ask the last question to the witness again? Dernière question pour le co-procureur. Thank you, Mr. President. Avant la pause. You have described a time where you came across some dead bodies in a pit, and I think. You told us that you were not supposed to be there. You were told that that wasn't where you were supposed to go. But as I said, the witness said that you were supposed to go. But my question is, when you when you saw the pit with the bodies, do you recall how many bodies were in the pit? 
euh, se trouvait dans la fosse, quelle était la taille de la fosse, est-ce que vous pouvez nous euh, éclairer là-dessus The witness. Le témoin. At that time, there were four pits, à ce moment-là, il y avait quatre fosses. Je ne connaissais pas le nombre de corps morts. Les pits étaient pleins et les pits étaient pleins. Donc je ne pouvais pas estimer le nombre de corps morts dans chaque pit. Donc je ne peux pas vous donner une idée précise du nombre de corps morts dans ces fosses. Certaines des fosses étaient remplies et d'autres à moitié remplies. Elles n'étaient pas recouvertes. Peut-être pourriez-vous nous éclairer quant à la dimension des fosses The witness, the Le pit, témoin. were it's uh, not really square. It was Le like round, and uh, it arrondi. was about two meters deep. Elles, elles une so de it mètres. was like a well. It's round. Un comme un puits. Uh, de forme and the depth was about two meters for each pit. Donc elles étaient, elles avaient une profondeur de deux mètres pour chaque fosse, chacune. When you saw the bodies in the pit, can you tell us what condition they were in? Were they clothed? Were they naked? Were their hands tied? Were their hands not tied? Could you see how they had been killed? No. And in what manner were the persons who had been killed? The witness. The testimony. From my observation. They were male and female, and they were clothed. Cadavres de sexe masculin et féminin. But some they were half naked. There were no shirts. Certains d'entre eux étaient à demi nus. Il n'y avait pas de leur chemise avait été retirée. Il n'avait pas de chemise. Did you notice whether or what forms of injuries the bodies had? Vous avez remarqué le type de How they might have been killed? indiquant la manière dont les personnes auraient été tuées. The witness. Le témoin. In those pits, dans ces fosses, I saw them in those pits. Oh, they must be bitten or clapped to death in those pits. Qu'elles avaient eu. They they were in those pits, so I did not know how they were killed. Qu'elles avaient été elles avaient euh, reçu un coup. Je n'ai pas vu exactement de quelle question, manière les personnes avaient été euh, tuées. Oui, oui, oui. Juste oh. une question. Le président, yes, le président oui, allez-y. Vous nous avez dit que vous décrivez Doik's caractère que vous seriez en trouble si il riait. La personnalité de Doik était en Okay. If he was serious, can you explain a little more about that? What you mean by that? Eh bien, alors, est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer un petit peu? Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un petit peu plus d'informations sur la personnalité de Doug? I used to be with him, so that's what I observed. Bien, moi, when he interrogated the prisoners, when he spoke to the guards, if with a straight face, then uh, it's okay. But if he has a smile on his face, then there would be a problem. So if I went to have a meal and I saw him with a smile, then I'm, I knew I would be in trouble. So if he keep laughing, ha 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 ha, then that would be no problem. Or he might beat the prisoner and the guards too if they made a mistake. If he had a straight face and walked away, that would be okay. But if he smiles, then they would be in trouble. So that is his character. S'il avait un sourire Thank you, Mr. John. sur ses lèvres, bien, Thank you, Mr. il y avait un problème. Donc voilà, c'est ce que je peux vous dire. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. The president. Le coprocureur. Now it is time to adjourn for lunch. De faire une pause the chamber declares the adjournment. And the court will resume at 1:30 p.m. Nous reprendrons.
security guards take the prisoner back, take the accused back to the waiting room and bring him back before 1.30 p.m. this afternoon. Court officer, can you facilitate the witness to the waiting room and uh, bring him back before 1.30 p.m.? Témoin dans la salle d'attente et pour le ramener ici avant 13h30, levez-vous.